In this video, we'll be learning about the constant rule for differentiation. Now, let's say we have a function, which we'll call f of x, which is equal to some number a times another function, which we'll write a times g of x. Now, what the constant rule tells us is that if we want to differentiate f of x, then f dash of x will be equal to a times the derivative of g of x, that's g dash of x. And that's the constant rule. So how do we use this? Let's actually look at a couple of examples here. Let's say that we have f of x equal to 3x squared. Well, comparing this to what we saw previously, in this case, we de we, the number which is multiplying the function is 3, so I could write a is equal to 3, and the function g of x would be x squared, just to compare it to our formula. And so what the constant rule is telling us is that if we want to differentiate f of x, then f dash of x is equal to 3, that was a, times g dash of x, so in this case, 2x. And that leads us to the answer f dash of x is equal to 6x. And there we have it. We've just differentiated this function using the constant rule. Let's look at another example. Let's say we were given the function f of x equals to 2 ln of x. Now remember, we saw in one of the previous videos that the derivative of ln of x is equal to 1 over x. So using that, and using the constant rule we just learnt, we can see that f dash of x, the derivative, is going to be equal to 2 times the derivative of ln of x, so that's 2 times 1 over x. And we can multiply both numerators together here, and say that f dash of x is equal to 2 over x. And that's it. We've differentiated this function as well. Let's move on to actually see why this, this actually works. The idea is, let's start with an example. Let's say we have f of x equals to 2x to the power of 5. The important thing to see here is that we could write this function, if we wanted to, as the sum of two functions. That's f of x is equal to x to the power of 5 plus x to the power of 5. And we've seen in a previous video that when we differentiate the sum of two functions, then the result is just the sum of the two derivatives. So in this case, if I were to differentiate this, I would find f dash of x is equal to the derivative of x to the power of 5, so that's 5 x to the power of 4, plus the derivative of x to the power of 5 again, which is 5 x to the power of 4. So we can see here that we definitely have two times the same thing. In other words, this derivative is equal to two times 5 x to the power of 4. And so we find f dash of x is equal to 10 x to the power of 4. And that's that. I hope that helps.